like many scientists in my field, I think we need to do a better job bringing in diverse individuals. In the case of the Girls in Science program, what we're trying to do is engage these young high school students to pursue oceanography, marine science, engineering, or some related field so they can help us with some of the more pressing problems that are facing our oceans in the future. Sea Grant is all about taking science and putting it into the hands of everyday people. A couple of highlights of some of the fun things that the fellows get to do while they're here. They learned about the history of whales. We went to the New Bedford Whaling Museum. They built their own hydrophone, which they are going to take out on a kayak trip and tow and record their own sound. And they also um, are going out on a whale watch, so they get to see the animals that they're studying. The week is really intentional, where each activity that they do builds on the other and really makes a common um, theme around bioacoustics. My field of research is communication and behavior in whales and dolphins. I focus primarily on dolphins and their individually specific vocalizations called signature whistles. In mass stranding events, we have anywhere from three to a hundred animals washing up on the beach. And since we know that bottlenose dolphins tend to make a lot of signature whistles when they're stressed, we thought that that might be a good thing to look for in the mass stranding data. And the whistles appear as very distinctive shapes on spectrograms. And given that our human eyes are fantastic at pattern recognition, those shapes just jump out at us. And that's what the fellows are helping with in that data analysis is going through and, and looking for repeated whistles that are signature whistles and actually looking at whether they're occurring more closely together prior to a stranding than not. That's the goal of our project, is to come up with some acoustic cue that we can give the Marine Mammal Stranding team. And if stranding responders can receive advance notice of mass stranding events, they can effectively herd them offshore. So the week takes them from what is bioacoustics to analyzing it, and at the end, being able to draw some conclusions and really say, here's how we can use bioacoustics information in marine mammal conservation. I love this program because it's specifically designed to include just representation and being able to see other women in the field doing the work um, because that's a picture that young women don't often see. Each person that they've met has told their story. How did you get to where you are? What was your journey? And that really is enabling the fellows to understand that they have a lot in common with these folks that are maybe already in science careers and that this is something that they can really attain if they really want it. If nothing else, I would just like the fellows to go home feeling like they have a place in science, feeling like they have uh, the right to be there just like anyone else and just really feeling empowered.